everybody, welcome back to RPA YouTube's YouTube channel or IGTV. In today's science lab, I'm going to do something fun. So basically, I use this book, Hack Your Kitchen, Discover the World of uh, Food Fun with Science Buddies. So anyway, if you want to check this book out, this is what um, I'm going to use um, the recipe from. So anyway, today we're going to do a flower craters. So what do you mean by flower craters? You probably haven't heard of it. But before that, you need a baking dish, but if you don't have a baking dish, you can use plastic container. And then flour, all-purpose flour works. And then you need cocoa powder. Uh, it doesn't need to be fancy, any kind of cocoa powder. And sifter, I, I just have a giant one like this, but if you have like the small one, that's good too. And then ball. So what we're going to do for these uh, flour craters is, we're going to make an indentation on the flour. It used to be, uh, it, looks, uh, it looks like a meteorite. So anyway, what you want to do is you put flour on the baking dish, this container like so, and then you take it out your cocoa powder, open it up, okay? So it should look something like this, but you, if you don't have, um, not a brand one, like this is good and gathered by Target, you can use it too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the sifter over on the top like that, so flour, and then you put your cocoa powder on the top. Just so just sprinkle it little by little. So it looks like a meteorite. Okay, if you don't know what it is, it's like outer space. So you're going to shift the cocoa powder on the top of your flour. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect, uh, as long as it's random, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And after that, after you've done that, and then you take your ball, and then you're going to drop your ball like one feet, or three meters on the top, like so. So I drop it, like so. So it might create a mess, so that's okay. See how you create an impact in those, okay? And then take your another ball again, and then just drop it again, like so. Okay, see how you create an impact on this flower. So, and then you can uh, try to drop in like different kind of uh, ball from the other side. Like say, uh, okay, you take another ball and then you drop it from the other angle, see what happened. Okay, so, and then keep trying a few more times. It will make a mess, but that's okay. So you can create the indentation of it in flower. So what science take away from this is impact craters are made when meteorites crash into a plant or moon. So this is what happened if uh, they like crash into each other. So the size, shape, and color of the craters is depend on how big the meteorite was and how fast it was going to go when it hit the ground. So it depends on how fast or how slow you're going to be. So the bigger the meteorite is, the deeper and larger the impact crater is going to be. So that's kind of slow, but if you're really fast, say, see, it will toss it like different way. So it just depends. Okay? So, yeah, that's our um, science experience for today is making a creators. I hope you try this at home. I know it will be really fun and then it will be really messy. So just, you know, in your kitchen area and stuff. And then, so until next time, I hope you watch our Make It Monday or Story Time. If you have a question, please let us know in the comment down below and then I will answer it as soon as I can. I hope you have a good day at school and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.